Hey everyone, ocean conservation and marine life expert Jacqueline Friedlander here, and today we are going to talk about seahorses and sea dragons. Scripps Institute of Oceanography at UC San Diego announced that there is evidence of a new species of sea dragon. I know what you're all thinking, oh my goodness, all this time human beings thought there were only two species of sea dragons, but really there are three. Just try to calm down, and if you feel so inclined, read the really, really interesting article in the info section below. It talks about how DNA imaging tools make discoveries like this possible. The new species has been dubbed the ruby sea dragon because of its red color. See, science is easy. This article was the inspiration for today's video about sea dragons versus seahorses. These animals are closely related, and they are also closely related to the pipefish, which looks like a seahorse that's been flat ironed, and the leafy sea dragon, which looks like, well, leaves. It's excellent at blending in with seaweed. One difference between sea dragons and seahorses is where they live. Sea dragons are only found in Australia, whereas seahorses are found in North American waters. Seahorses don't swim as well and often anchor themselves to seagrass by their tail to avoid exhaustion. When they do swim, their back fin flutters up to 35 times per second. That's just 18 flutters shy of the average hummingbird's wing speed to give you some perspective. The most interesting and unique similarity, though, is that males are the ones who carry the babies. You heard that correctly, ladies and gentlemen, the boys have the babies. The females still produce the eggs. Then she transfers them to the male. In seahorses, the female uses her ovipositor to deposit eggs into the male's stomach pouch. He then carries the embryos for 10 to 25 days before giving birth. In the case of sea dragons, the eggs are deposited into a spongy brood pouch beneath the tail. The embryos are carried for four to six weeks, and then tiny sea dragons are born. If you want weekly ocean information, click subscribe, and I invite you to leave questions and ocean topic suggestions in the comment section. Thanks for watching!